Hello guys and welcome to a new vlog. We are starting the vlog here at Alpha Land. I am getting work done by Dr. Lakin here at Alpha Land. She is going to be working on my hips because with all the constant running, Stairmaster and spin, all that cardio has just fucked up my hips. So she's going to work on them and some of my legs and a little bit of my back. So enjoy me suffering. <laughs> got done, um, came in just to look at my posing a little bit. I don't like to pose in shoes and clothes. I feel weird when I do that. I'm feeling okay. I was feeling good this morning and then my workout kind of sucked. Like, it's kind of chilly outside too, so I feel like the intensity wasn't there. And then I don't really have intensity because I'm on zero carbs, so like, I'm like running on fumes. So like I can't, I push myself, but like just nothing to push. So that's how I feel right now. And then my stomach's hurting a little bit today. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's not, right now it's not, I'm not feeling so great. But I mean, it's, this is prep. You have good moments, and you have low moments, and then you have good moments. Did most of my cardio already, so I literally just have like 15 minutes to do, and I'll be done for the day. So that's it. So that's going to be it for today. I'm going to be practicing my posing tomorrow, so I'll bring my camera so I can record a little bit of behind the scenes of that. Um, and then I have a pretty chill day tomorrow. I'm going to get my nails done and just relax. It's Thursday. I'm just going to whip out all my cardio in the morning and then have the free rest of the day just to chill. So that's the game plan. Hope you guys enjoyed a few of those clips. And I'll see you guys probably on Friday. Hello, guys. So I realized I haven't really vlogged, so I'm vlogging today. I am doing a full day of eating for you guys. Um, and I'm going to show you guys what I, the first thing I do in the morning. I just got back from cardio. I did 40, well, I did an hour of spin and then I only did 25 minutes on the Stairmaster. I'm going to finish the other 20 minutes after my workout. And yeah, I'm exhausted. I am a little over three weeks out and I'm genuinely tired and hungry, but it's part of it. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do, eat right now as soon as I get back from my cardio, which is Ghost Greens, the apple cider. These are so, so good. These are my favorite. They taste amazing. You can just drink them on their own. You don't have to mix it with anything else. I love it. And then I put a scoop of extra L glutamine in here because I don't think this has enough glutamine in it. I don't think it has any glutamine, glutamine in it. So I'm gonna take this um, just to help with digestion and stuff. And then, I'll drink this, make my coffee, and Chris is making my breakfast right now, so I'll show it to you guys in just a second. All right, guys, so for breakfast, I have my eggs here. Um, there's eggs, two eggs, two whole eggs, 97 grams of egg whites? 93. 93 grams of egg whites, two whole eggs, bell pepper, mushrooms, and spinach. Makes a big omelet, which is what I need to fill me up for breakfast. No carbs, and... Um, my coffee, which you guys know before I started prep, I never did carbs in the morning. I just didn't like them. I felt like I felt more sluggish when I ate carbs in the morning. So my morning breakfast hasn't really changed in the sense of, oh my God, he took away carbs. I've never had carbs. So it's not a big deal. And um, I didn't have carbs with James either in the morning and I incorporated that from two years ago and just kept that up in the morning. And I think just having those things Practicing like my, my lifestyle has just really helped a lot with prep this time. Um, I actually used to just eat 200 grams of egg whites by themselves, no veggies, and I would get full. So right now I'm just hungry, so the veggies keep me full. 
um, for longer periods of time. And then I do my coffee. I do just regular coffee, sugar-free uh, cookie dough pumps. Um, I get them at like TJ Maxx and Home Goods. And then right now I have this zero sugar peppermint mocha. I will cut this out about two weeks out. I have kept this consistent all of prep. If you can keep things consistent all of prep, you don't need to fucking struggle and be like, oh my God, I gotta take a creamer, I gotta take out this. Zero sugar is going to be okay. It's not going to fuck up my progress as long as I'm tracking it and I'm not going overboard and I'm keeping it consistent, I will be okay. Um, but two weeks out, I'll definitely cut it out just because we that's when we really wanna tighten everything um, up and stuff. So, and then on my egg whites, I'll use Cholula. That's it for meal number one. Okay guys, so I did some work on the laptop, showered, rinsed down because I was smelly. <laughs> and then um, went to the grocery store real quick because I had to up on some of my stuff that I need. It's literally the same things every single day. I go to the grocery store maybe every two, three mm. days. I try not to go every day, even though Kroger's like right down the road, but um, recently we've been going every two to three days, which is nice. So I'm gonna show you guys my essentials and basically everything I eat, but obviously I'll show you guys the meals as I make them. All right, so for prep, mega fit meals, always offer on prep is a big must. Um, you can find the link in my bio. Right now with prep, I just order their chicken and it's so nice to order just like chicken and things like that. It's great to have some meals if you're not on prep, but just having chicken is nice because you can make pasta or rice or whatever you want and it changes it up every day, but you already have chicken handy so you don't have to cook chicken. So chicken. Lettuce is a big staple in um, low carb days just because you want a little bit more volume. I don't do extreme amount of lettuce because I haven't gotten my body used to a lot of volume, which I really like this prep. Um, that's what my main focus was and I think I've done a really good job, right baby? Mm -hmm. So, proud of me for that, but I still have to use lettuce in some meals and then I have a whole salad. He tells me to use like literally a bag of lettuce. I only use like a half a bag. So, that's lettuce. Um, for my last meal, I like to have shrimp. Uh, it's really lean and fat, so I'll make my shrimp every night because um, I like fresh shrimp, and if there's leftover, I'll just save it. But I do shrimp at night, and I'll show you guys that meal later today. Spinach because I was all out for my breakfast. Mashed cauliflower. Um, I use one pack two times, so let me rephrase that. I use one pack a day, so I use half the pack for one meal, half the other pack for another meal, so I don't use one a day. Um, just because the, I mean, not the, the carbs aren't that high, but um, I just wanna keep it uh, low, right? So I could essentially, because it's veggies, not do that, but I do that. I'll show you what I do to make it a little bit more fuller. And then I needed some bell pepper for my breakfast, so this is my grocery haul. All right. I'm going to make my meal now. So I'm gonna get a bowl. Pro tip when you're dieting, get small bowls, get little forks, and it'll make it seem like you're eating more than what you're really eating. All right, so I have my mega fit meals cut up into little pieces. I have three ounces here, and then I have the cauliflower rice here. So I am going to half this. So only half of it is going into the bowl. You guys can see. It literally is like mashed potatoes. It's so good. Thankfully, this has not been upsetting my stomach. So we're going to keep at it. Uh, green beans were literally killing my stomach. I love green beans. It was my favorite meal with turkey, just mixing them together. But it was really fucking up my stomach. So we're not doing that. Um, putting in the chicken in the bowl too now. All right. Garbage can. So this is what it looks like right now. And then I'm gonna add some lettuce. So shredded romaine lettuce. It's a little bit more expensive, but easier on the stomach. And it doesn't have like a shit ton of vinegar and stuff in it. So we just go mix this. Like so. And you got yourself a concoction of mashed potatoes or mashed cauliflower, chicken, and lettuce. And I'm gonna add Tabasco Chipotle. This one is my favorite. 
Listen, don't judge me on my wrinkly outfit today, okay? I just put this on because I thought it was cute. It's wrinkly as fuck. I didn't have time to, I didn't, I didn't have, it's not that I didn't have time. I didn't feel like ironing. But Chipotle, all right? This one is so good. This one's really good on actual Chipotle bowls. Like if you go to Chipotle and you put this in your bowls or your burrito, fire. But it's gonna do the trick here. And that's it, guys. That's my bowl. That is meal numero dos of five. And before I take that, I'm gonna take some betaine, HCL. Some hydrochloric acid. Okay, yeah, for digestive support. And some hum, this one's hum. I just got these, I'm almost, uh, I don't know if I'll keep getting these, but just some digestive enzymes. So I'll take these before my each meal, just to help me digest, because your girl's been having some digestive issues all of prep. If you guys watch my stories, it's been pretty bad. So, um, I'm just doing what I can now. Before prep, no, no digestive issues, no. Every day, so it's getting better though. So I'm gonna eat this. It's two o'clock. I won't have my next meal till around four, four thirty before the gym, and then I'll save two meals for a post gym, and I'll show you guys what those are. Alrighty, it is. Let me get this to focus. It is time for time for meal number three. It is three fifty-seven, so four o'clock, and I'm going to make. Well, I already made meal number three. I'm just gonna show you guys. It is literally. The exact same as meal two. Uh, cauliflower, the other half that I told you guys I was going to use. Three ounces of chicken and lettuce. The only thing that I'm changing in this meal is the seasonings. That way I get a little bit of a different flavor. So I just picked up this Hidden Valley, uh, the original ranch seasoning. I've been really wanting like ranch with wings, even though like that's not something I ever have. But I don't know why the taste of ranch has been like in my thoughts. So I saw this and I was like, I'm going to pick it up. Zero calories just zero zero everything so i'm gonna put this on just sprinkle it on with a little bit of buffalo that's zero calories and yeah guys chris usually just does buffalo all prep i can't do too much because the spiciness upsets my stomach but we're just gonna use this frank's hot frank's red hot wings buffalo this one is zero calories you want to make sure that um your buffalo sauce has zero calories because there's some that are better because they're creamier they taste better right but they're not zero. And right now we just want to keep everything zero consistent. So I'm going to add that to this and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, guys, this is what it looks like. Just a little light drizzle, just like I said, because I don't want it to be too spicy. This is what the seasonings look like. So this is meal number three. All right, guys, so this is the gym fit today. We got legs or glutes today, glutes and hammies. Um, I look tanned in this clip today, but you guys can see this is what the physique is looking like. My stomach's a little bloated today, um, but just ate. yeah, I just ate. These are dark, dark. I'm an extra small on these now just because I've lost so much breast size. Dark. These are smalls, but I mean, I wanted to stay in smalls. And then shoes dark, socks dark. All right, I'm gonna show you guys my vitamins real quick. Not all of them, just like, just show you guys that I take my vitamins before my workout, and then um, we're gonna head out to the gym. I don't think I'm gonna record the workout today. I'm not sure yet. Um, I, there's like some clips, as you guys saw, of my back day. Um, and then I'll come home and eat meal number four. So I have most of my vitamins in this little drawer here. Dandelion, turmeric, multivitamin C, uh, B6 complex, um, then I have my 7 keto here. Um, so I have um, all my supplements here, but I organize them in this little ghost cubby thing, pill thing, and it has, uh, let me open it for you. It has seven little compartments, so it just makes it easier, because that way every day I just pop it open, take it, makes my life so, so much easier. So highly recommend you guys get one of these pill things, because you can organize them for the whole week, put it in your bag at work and just have it at work all week and then bring it back on home on Friday. Like it honestly is a lifesaver. So I love this. So I'm gonna take my vitamins and we're gonna head out to the gym. It is, by the way, it is 4.46. We usually get to the gym at around 5.30 cause we leave the house at five. We get there around 5.30. We take our pre-workout, 
we take like 30 minutes okay we we don't we're not those people that take our pre-workout in the car and jam in the car we're the people that take an energy drink in the car and then <laughs> we take a pre-workout at the gym we kind of conversate with our friends for a little bit catch up which is kind of nice because i think it gets rid of all the conversation during the workout excuse me and um yeah that's that's us so then i have like an hour and an hour and a half hour to an hour and a half workout um glutes are usually a little bit more than an hour and then i still have 20 minutes left of cardio so that is the game plan for today and then i'm going to practice a little bit of my posing over there because i've been practicing my posing every single day because we gotta get it spot on all right guys i'll see you guys either at the gym or probably when i get back home all right guys i'm back home <laughs> i just had like my shirt on i am exhausted workout was really good though the rest of the cardio went really well so monday can be checked off as a good day i take it one day at a time like i told you guys because if i if i if i don't i get overwhelmed but right now i'm starving it is 8 50. so it's a little bit later than i normally get my uh fourth meal um it's 8 50 but i'm gonna show you guys what i make because this one's a little bit different all right so i am making a shrimp salad so i like the the field greens because it has like a bunch of different textures in there so i get that i get four ounces of shrimp roasted red bell pepper these are like five calories per 30 grams or something like that so it's just peppers i can have peppers in my diet i just get the roasted ones because on the salad they're great i put a little bit of this hernandez taqueria avocado cilantro sauce i get this at heb and then i get 30 grams of avocado which i put in there so this is meal number four my favorite 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 meal of the day is this one all right guys so showered washed my hair because i have a photo shoot in the morning so i wanted clean hair and i applied some self tanner tonight because of my shoot i have a dark sport shoot tomorrow so wanted to look super tan fendi fendi um so my face is always a little bit lighter than my my whole rest of my body so that's okay we're gonna put on some makeup but last meal is going to be egg whites um it is 200 no yeah 200 grams of egg whites i can have this or chicken but i like egg whites because it's my final meal i don't like to have veggies in my final meal just so that i don't go to bed feeling bloated and because of my digestive issues we decided to cut out veggies on the last meal so egg whites is a perfect um, thing to do right before bed and i do add cinnamon and salt to them and i'll sprinkle a little bit of the sugar-free maple groves um maple groves farm sugar-free syrup it has five calories per two tablespoons so i literally just barely drizzle anything just to get a sweet taste i know it sounds gross ew you put syrup in your egg whites i know but it's literally like eating a pancake i put cinnamon salt in it in the egg white when i'm making it and then fold it over like you just saw put a little bit of this and trust me it's like my dessert for the night so gonna eat this and that's gonna be it guys that's going to be a wrap for my full day of eating so obviously i'm on zero carbs so um you guys there's that's it right zero carbs when i'm really hungry i'll do cucumbers i don't have them every day though um so it's only when i'm like really hungry which is normally um on my off days because i'm not busy working out working out as you guys saw it takes a big chunk out of my day so i leave the house at five harm you need to go outside sorry guys harm needs to go outside go pee pee go pee and poop you need to go outside go uh hold on guys sorry okay guys sorry i was taking her out um so as you guys saw um i like i said it's zero carbs um i'll have cucumbers when i'm really hungry that's usually the days on my rest days because i'm not working out my workouts i leave the house at five i don't get home till like eight so um by the time i get home at 8 30 it's 8 8 30 is the time for me to eat so um i have my last meal at 10 30 because i like for it to digest and then i wake up every day around eight 
8.30, depending, 7.50 to 8.30. Tomorrow I'll wake up at 7, so I have check-ins and stuff like that. So I just want to make sure, um, there's no time limit when you're eating, but when you're doing check-ins and things like that, I like to have my meals at a certain time so that it gives my body time to digest them, right? So, preferably I like to eat my meal at 10, 10.30. That's even like when I'm not on prep. I just like to eat my meal no later than 10.30, unless I'm, Chris and I are out and we're like, and two in the morning we'll get in and out or something that's the only exception other than that if i'm at my house 10 30 is the latest i'd eat just because of digestion reasons but anyways as i was saying it's zero carbs right now we're carb cycling we have three zero carbs one carb day we were at one and one and then we switched over to two and two and now we're three and one um but i'm super close guys um it hasn't been like this the entire prep and i still get fats as you guys saw i get avocado and then my two whole eggs and then the fats that I get, obviously, in the chicken. But it's honestly not as rough as my prep two years ago. And I'm just, like, grateful for that. Um, it's part of it. I knew that we were going to have to do zero carb days. And I knew how hard it was going to be because the prep was 13 weeks instead of a full 16 weeks. But I, we're almost at the finish line. I honestly think that after this week, maybe next week, too, we, we you know, still suffer a little bit. I'm, I say suffer. And then we're gonna kind of cruise because I really do think that I'm definitely right on the schedule, if not leaner than I need to be. So, um, you know, Brandon's gonna, he does, he's been doing a great job with me. I don't feel like he's purposely making me suffer or anything like that. So I think tomorrow's check-in, it'll be a good representation of where we're at. So I feel great. My mental health is great, guys. I'm not saying that every day has been easier, that I haven't had my bad moments, because I have, thankfully, very few bad moments um, Not as rough nearly as rough as my prep two years ago But I've had my moments and I that's normal for everyone. I, I think you know um, But I'm really grateful for where my mindset is right now um, You know, I was nervous going into this week because I was like fuck it's gonna be really hard But I'm just taking it a day at a time. I think it was I told you guys I like to take it a day at a time and then I was thinking oh my god I saw three weeks because I think the shorter it gets the more I think about the overall picture my my fingers scream from the tan The overall picture like oh my gosh I have three I had four weeks or I have three weeks And it's still even though it's a short amount of time when you think about all the stuff you have to do like the cardio and like the Zero carbs if you think about it that way you feel really overwhelmed like I said so I was starting to feel like <sighs> Okay, like very anxious about it, but now I feel really good. I'm like, okay, my mindset's back on one day at a time, right? One day at a time. So we'll see how check-in goes tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed this full day of eating, zero carb edition, what I do. And that's it, guys. That's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what questions you have below. Please don't leave any negative comments. Please, please, that's the least that I need. Um, but... If you have any questions, leave them down below. And I hope this helps you guys, especially if you have some meals that you want to do zero carb with. Like, if you want to alternate, great meals you guys can do. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.